God's flowers are blooming everywhere today. Their beautiful colors all chase cares away. He knows we need flowers to help us cope. And where flowers bloom, so does hope. Please hit like, leave your comments, subscribe, and share this video. Flowers with Difficult Spelling, Part 3 Dahlia, Dahlia in American, Dahlia in British. The name Dahlia is a girl's name of Scandinavian origin, meaning Dahl's flower. One of the flower names used occasionally in Britain, where the Britons usually pronounce it as Delia. Delia, as its scientific name, declared as the national flower of Mexico in 1963. It is a genus of bushy, tuberous, herbaceous, perennial plants native to Mexico and Central America. A member of the compositive family of dicotyledonous plants, its garden relatives thus include the sunflower, daisy, chrysanthemum, and zinnia. Dahlia flower stands for wealth and elegance, and also for love and involvement. It's a perfect flower to express our love. For the Aztecs, Dahlia was a religious symbol. Besides food, the flower was used in different types of ceremonies. Dahlia, wealth, love, elegance, faith, and involvement. Delilah in American and British Delilah is an ancient name of Hebrew and Arabic origins. In both Hebrew and Arabic, the name means delicate. If you are familiar with biblical stories, then you'll immediately recognize the name Delilah, who was the love interest of Samson, a man famed for his great strength. The lila flower is a type of dahlia. They are both members of Asteraceae family, along with other well-known flowers such as daisy, sunflower, zinnia, and chrysanthemum. They can be planted in the spring as brownish small 
biennial tubers. The Delilah flower is fond of moderate climates with moist soil. In the language of flowers, Miss Delilah, which closely resembles the appearance of a water lily with varying colors, from pale pink to dark pink bloom. It can symbolize the quality of being delicate and weakened personalities. Delilah, delicacy, weakness. Eucalyptus These flowering trees, eucalyptuses or eucalypti as its plural form, which are regarded as the fastest and tallest growing trees in the world, are native to Australia, where they are used as firewood, timber, and medicine by native aborigines. Eucalyptus, as its scientific name, is a genus of over 700 species of flowering trees, shrubs, and mallees in the myrtle family, Myrtaceae, along with several other genera in the tribe Eucalyptae, including Kurimbi. They are commonly known as eucalypts. For the aboriginals, the eucalyptus is a holy tree. For them, it represents the division of underworld, earth, and heaven. The eucalyptus leaf also has purifying effect, as negative energy disappears in the place where you burn a eucalyptus leaf. Eucalyptus, holiness, purification. Fuchsia in American and British, with the scientific name Fuchsia Magellanica or Fuchsia Magellanica. Beautiful, delicate fuchsias come in thousand varieties and colors with multicolored uh, blossoms that hang and droop beautifully from baskets, planters, and pots. Often trellised in the garden, fuchsia plants can be bushy or vining and trailing. Fuchsia is a genus of flowering plants that consists mostly of shrubs and small trees. The first to be scientifically described, Fuchsia trifilia, was discovered on the Caribbean island in Hispaniola, Haiti, and Dominican Republic about 1696 to 1697 by the French mini monk and botanist Charles Plumer. He named the new genus after the German botanist Leonhard Foch. This beautiful, delicate fuchsia, which comes in thousand varieties and colors, with multicolored blossoms indicates confiding love. Thus, we give fuchsias to express our trust for someone. Fuchsia Confiding love.
Godisha in both American and British with a scientific name Calcia Amina or Clacia Amina. Godisha was originally named with the scientific name Godisha Amina by the 19th century Swiss botanist Charles Henry Godet. In Latin epithets, Amina means beautiful or pleasing. All Godisha or Clarkia species, with the exception of one or two, are indigenous to California in the West, making them popular choices for their wild flower mixes. Clarkia amina is a flowering plant native to western North America found in coastal hills and mountains from British Columbia south to the San Francisco Bay Area. It is an annual plant growing up to 1 meter tall with slender linear leaves 2 to 7 cm long and 2 to 6 mm broad. As the name suggests, Godisha is an attractive and very showy annual flower that blooms in late spring. Its blooms are similar to those of an azalea and they usually come in shades of pink to white. Clarkia amina symbolizes enthusiasm and charm. Godisha Enthusiasm Charm God's flowers are blooming everywhere today. Their beautiful colors all chase cares away. He knows we need flowers to help us cope. And where flowers bloom, so does hope. Please hit like, leave your comments, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you very much.